Apostle JP. Blessings everybody. This is Prophet Sage, son of Apostle of Power. And I'm here to tell you a powerful message that is titled, Lose Him and bring him to me oh as you can hear this is a powerful message of deliverance i believe as i've personally traveled with the man of god all over the world i have seen how he uses this one message to minister deliverance to the people of god so what is your own problem as you are coming with your own problem i believe that the deliverance power of god is about to locate you stay tuned stay blessed and keep watching shalom 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 this is Apostle JPM denying the Apostle of Power, excited to bring you this powerful message titled, Lose Him and Bring Him to Me. The message is titled, Lose Him and Bring Him to Me. It's a message of deliverance that destroys witchcraft. It's a message of deliverance that, that breaks strongholds. It's a message of deliverance that moves people who have been tied so that they can start moving. In their divine destiny this message will set you free from sickness this message will set you free from from anti-marriage this message will deliver you and your life cannot remain the same again lose him and bring him to me oh my god i, I just love jesus christ how how he went about doing good and today i have been sent here in this television program to set you free from every captivity of the enemy to set you free from sickness. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. I come as the apostle of power by the power of the Holy Ghost to declare upon your life whatever have tied you, whatever have kept you bound today as I pray for you. You are loose in the name of Jesus Christ. And some of you are asking, Man of God, these papers here are for what? These papers are prayer requests of people from all over the world who have watched on TV, on social media, and they have sent their prayer requests. With that WhatsApp number that is on your screen, you can also send your own prayer request. And I print it and I put it like this. So that every time I'm praying, I lay hands on it. And when I lay hands on it, the Lord begins to answer them. And today, as I receive your prayer request, I will also print it and put it in my altar so that I can keep praying for you. And to those of you who are saying, I want to talk to the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, as I talk to you, the next thing you send us is a testimony. And I will print your testimonies and also put them here. So that every time I'm praying, I give thanks to the Lord for what he has done in your life. Come with me quickly to the book of Luke chapter number 19. Luke chapter number 19, verse 29 to 33. I read. And it came to pass, and it came to pass when he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter, you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat. Lose it and bring it to me. We'll continue reading. Lose it and bring it to me. Watch this. Jesus says, as you enter, you will find a cult that has been tied. <laughs> God said to me, as you go to that TV program today and preach, you will find people who have been tied. And the Lord says, lose them and bring them to me. The Lord says, as you are preaching, there are people who have been tied. People who have been tied into sickness, who have been tied into medication, who have been tied into poverty, who have been tied into anti-marriage, who have been tied into depression, who have been tied into stress. The Lord says, lose them and bring them to me. My God, I stretch my hand towards you. Wherever the devil might have tied you, I declare you are loose in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you from that witchcraft. I lose you from that failure, from that delay, from that disappointment. Receive restoration. I declare whom the Son of Man set free is free indeed. You are loose by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, as you enter, you will find a cult that has been tied. Now watch this. I noticed three things here, people of God. The first thing is that the cult was tied at the entrance in the junction. Now, when you are tied at the entrance, it means the cult was tied in a place where everyone could see the cult, but no one could lose the cult. Being tied at the entrance means you are tied at the place of opportunity. In the junction, you are tied in a busy place. Now, the second thing I notice is that the cult, no one has ever used it. 
which means the destiny of this donkey was to carry goods was for people to ride on top but because the donkey was tight his destiny was frustrated many, many people are watching me your destiny has been frustrated because the devil have tied you your life has been frustrated because the devil have tied you your business is not moving the, the enemy have tied you your marriage is not moving in your financial life the things are not moving nothing is moving in your life why they have tied you you see as you enter you will find the call that has been tied watch this when the enemy ties you you will be at the place of breakthrough but you are not breaking through you are instead breaking down when the enemy ties you you will be at the at a beautiful gate yet your life is not beautiful when the enemy ties you you will be in a church where people give testimony every day but you can't testify watch this until you are loose you can't testify today any power any witchcraft any curse any charm any muti that the enemy might have used to tie you from prospering to tie you from succeeding to tie you from making it i declare you are loose in the name of jesus christ be loose be loose in Jesus mighty name he said the donkey is tied and no one has ever used that donkey which means this donkey was suffering from rejection a qualified donkey but the donkey was not being used a donkey that is ready to be used but no one could use it when the enemy ties you you suffer rejection you are rejected by your boyfriend rejected by your boss rejected by your family rejected by your, by your family when you are tied you suffer from what you call contribution without appreciation when you are tight you will be busy in life but you are going nowhere so the donkey was tight the donkey was always busy 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 but what is happening the donkey is busy but in the same place some donkey is moving in a circle some of you are moving in a circle since many years now you are not changing your age is changing but your life is not changing <laughs> the world is changing but your life is not changing it's a sign that you have been tight it says when you see this donkey lose it and bring it to me my business here today is to lose whoever but the devil have tight so that you can save God. The Lord says to Moses, tell Pharaoh, let my people go so that they can save me. Today, God wants to set you free because God wants to use you. Oh, somebody here, you have been tied into drugs. You are about to become an evangelist. I can see somebody here. You have been tied into poverty. You are about to become a kingdom financier. Somebody here, you are watching right now. You've been tied into problems. You've been tied into sickness. You are about to become a healing minister. Ah, you've been tied and you've been single for so long. You are about to become a married man, a married woman. Man. you have been tied they have tied your womb you can't have a baby you will carry your Samuel you will carry your Isaac they have tied your business anything they have tied in your life as I agree with you in prayer as I pray for you right now receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ right now I command every power every power that is not of God let it bow Bible tells me at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord oh my God right now the Lord sent me to declare and to declare and to declare and to tell your enemies let my people go so that they can save me he says, you will enter and find a cord that has been tight when no one have used it. You see, when you are tight, it means you are restricted. You are allowed to move, but you are restricted. There are some places you can't go. When you are tight, you will see opportunity. You will see it, but you can't have it. Many people here, oh, you saw the opportunity. You went for the interview, but you couldn't get the job. You saw the potential husband, the potential wife, but you couldn't get them. You saw the potential business, you couldn't get it. You started the ministry, it closed. Everything you start always closed. You see the miracle, very close. You are like Moses, who saw the promised land, but he couldn't enter. You see it, but you can't have it. Why? You have been tied. Oh my God. If they have tied your hands from having money, I pour the oil of breakthrough in your hands. You will count money with 55 fingers if they have tied your feet from moving forward i pour the oil of god upon your feet your feet are loose and you're about to break boundaries and enter territories where no one have ever entered in your family if there is a curse upon your head i stretch my hand right now the right hand of god is power you shall move from bad luck to favor in the name of jesus christ oh my god if you can hear me right now just shout at the top of your voice favor is my name favor is my name favor is my name
are you called by God? Do you feel like I want to be mentored in the prophetic? Man of God, I have I feel like I have the call of God. I've been feeling it in my I've been seeing it in my dreams. I've been dreaming praying for the sick. I've been dreaming prophesying and preaching to large crowds. But man of God, I don't know what is my calling, what is my spiritual gift. Well, God have asked me right now to run what you call the International School of Seers. The school where I will mentor servants of God and release them out into ministry. Remember, Prophet Samuel could not understand the voice of God until Eli mentored him. When Saul met Jesus Christ on his way to Damascus, Jesus said to him, go into the city. Someone will tell you what to do. No matter how much you think you are gifted, you need to be mentored on what to do. Because if you are not trained... You are not qualified to train people. The work of the Lord has steps, dimensions, and levels. And those of you who are not saying, I am ready for ministry, I am called into ministry, I want to be mentored by Apostle JP, it's an opportunity for you right now to register for the International School of Seers. Prophet Elijah had the school of the sons of the prophet, where he trained the likes of Elisha, and they became major prophets. Your gift needs mentorship. Your gift needs sharpening. Your prophetic gift needs to be trained so that you can be used to edify the people of God and to glorify God. Don't this opportunity register right now on the whatsapp number on your screen and, and and come to the international school of sears where i will take time to personally mentor train educate coach and release you out in the ministry may god bless you see you there as you enter you will find a cult that has been tied then something shocks me here people of god jesus said in verse in in, in verse 31 he says if anyone asks you why are you losing it first you shall say to him because the Lord needs it. Jesus knew that if someone is tight, it means someone tied the person. Jesus knew that as the disciples go to set the people free, the people who tied the, 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 the donkey will say, why are you losing it? Watch this. There are some people, when they tie you, they monitor you. When the enemy tie you, the enemy monitor you. Jesus says, if anyone asks you, which means Jesus understands the dynamics of witchcraft. Jesus understands the mechanism of evil. And he says, if anyone asks you, tell them the master need it. Why? Because if they hear that the master need it, they can't stop you again. Today, the master needs you. <laughs> hey, Karabasha. Today, God wants to use you. Today, God is calling you from that depression, from that stress, from that stagnation, from that prison of drugs, from that prison of alcohol. Today, God is choosing you in your family to be the record breaker, to be the Joseph of your family. And the Lord says, if anyone asks, tell them, the master need it. I don't care who is that enemy saying, why are you prophesying to them? Why are you saying that they must be set free? I declare, the Lord needs you. God wants to use you. Child of God, the time has come for you to move from being sick to being healed so that you can heal the sick. To move from being poor to being rich so that you can be a blessing to the poor. To move from being oppressed and depressed to being set free so that you can deliver people in your family. Watch this. You are the deliverer of your family. You are the Moses of your family. You are the Esther of your family. You are the Nehemiah of your family. Before, when God wants to change a generation, when God wants to bless a family, he select but one person. Hey, I pray. I believe God with you. You are that one person that God wants to use to bless your whole family. You are that one person that God wants to use to change your entire generation. Oh my God. Right now I feel the power of God. Dear viewers, I feel the power of God right now as I'm preaching. Hey, that HIV, that cancer, that depression, that stress, that bipolar, that high blood pressure, that diabetes. What is the name? Anyway, the, the devil have buried you. The same way Jesus Christ called Lazarus. I call you, child of God, come forth. Arise from that sickness. Arise from that slumber. Arise in the name of Jesus Christ. These are prayer points of people, prayer requests of people. They have inboxed us. They have WhatsApp us in the same number you are seeing on your screen and they have sent their prayer requests. And as I'm praying, they are sending testimony every day. I want you also, join the moving train. Join the testimony line and send your prayer requests. And as I'm praying for you, you will testify. 
oh man of God, I would also like to talk to you one on one. There's something I want to understand. I want to hear the mind of God concerning my life. I need some counseling. I am stressed. I am depressed. Suicide is not the option. Suicide is not the option. Drugs is not the option. Alcohol is not the option. Don't take your life. Don't take your own life. I am here to speak with you, man of God. I just feel like I have hit the rock bottom. I have hit the, a, a, a dead end. No, you have not hit the dead end. The Bible says, looking on to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, as you as, as, as you watch up and say. I want to speak to Apostle JP one on one. You will be transferred to speak to me. And I will say, Oh, my sister, it's not the end of the world. It's just a breakdown before the breakthrough. It's just a trial before the triumph. It's just a test before the testimony. And you shall move from being a victim to being a victor. Remember, you are not born again to remain the same again. And if God be for you, who? can be against you. And right now is that time where I get to pray for you. Is that time where you send your prayer request? Is that time where you believe God with me? Viewers all over the world. Distance is not a barrier. Where are you watching me from? What is your situation? God's power is real. God's power is real. God set me free from sickness. No doctor could heal me, but God came true for me. The same God who did it for me shall do it for you. While I was in the streets, roaming around, doing evil, God called me and equipped me and anointed me, and today I can preach to you. God also is about to call you. There's a ministry coming out of you. There's a breakthrough coming out of you. There's something great coming out of you. If you believe God right now, that you want me to pray with you, go ahead, send that prayer request. Request to speak to me, and I will spend time to, 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 to guide you, and we shall enjoy the Lord together. Don't forget this. If God allows you to go through a problem, there's a miracle behind it. Every miracle in the Bible started as a problem. That your problem is an express way of miracle. That your problem is an opportunity to see the power of God. Let's pray with you. Let me pray for you. Let me speak to you one-on-one. -on -one. Don't miss this opportunity to pray along with the apostle of power and God shall do something great in your life. Don't forget this. God, Jesus Christ, is the solution. There is no other solution, not science, not technology, not methods. But Jesus Christ, the word of God, cannot fail. And as I agree with you, in the name of the Lord, you shall surely come back with a testimony. And just before I go ahead to conclude to pray for you, you are watching and you're saying, man of God, I've been touched by this message, Karabashanda. I want to drop a seat on the ground to support your ministry. I want to connect to this ministry. I want to connect to the anointing. Man of God, I would love to partner with your ministry. I would love to help you pay the bills of the ministry. I would love to support you to take care of the widows and orphans. Go ahead right now, child of God. That's God speaking to you right there. Go ahead. Drop a seat on the ground with our banking details on the screen. Just sow a seat. Give us a gift offering of any amount. And, uh, uh, and as our tradition demands, as you give us an offering of any amount, my team will send you four of my books for free so that you can read them and build your faith and grow. And the Lord Jesus Christ shall bless you. Right now, as I lay hands on this prayer request, from our last episode, people send their prayer request. And today, I am laying hands to pray for them. Also send yours. Father, I pray for these people who have sent their prayer request. Oh, Lord Jesus, help them. Bless them. Heal them. In Jesus' name. Amen. And before I go, pray along with me. I declare and I decree upon your life. Whatever is not working will begin to work. Any failure in your life, God shall turn it to success. I declare and I decree upon your life. Where there seem to be no way, God will make a way. Right now, under this atmosphere, you are under the influence of this telecast right now. You are a qualified candidate for a breakthrough. Viewer, what is that problem you are, you, you, you are believing God for, for, for a solution? Healing comes to you. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Lazarus, come forth. I call your healing. I call your breakthrough. I call your business. I call your ministry. I call it to come forth. 
You have received a lot of prophecies, but they didn't come to pass. They will come to pass now. You have been praying, but it seems as if they are not answered. Receive answers to your prayers. Right now, while I'm speaking, I hear the Lord say, it is done. For the blessings of the Lord are yes and amen. Thank you for watching. Continue to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. Send your prayer request, and I'll be praying for you. Also request to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll reason together, and, and together we can stop the devil. Jesus Christ is Lord. Receive him as your Lord and Savior, and stay connected, for the Lord is good, and his goodness endures forever. Shalom. Peace. Greetings viewers of One Gospel. My name is Evangelist John Duren. I just want to share a great testimony with you. On the first episode of Apostle JPM Denian's message that he preached of the war must end. I was fighting a war for many years and that the war was a financial law and against the credit bureau. Um, because of the credit bureau and the financial law that I was fighting, I couldn't go and buy a house. I had a lot of financial problems. But as the apostle of power was prophesying, your home must end, your financial home must end. Just a week after I tuned into and connected to that message, I received a call from the credit bureau calling me and saying that that negative listings against the name are being removed. And that is without me calling them, without me asking them to remove it. They just, they just contact me. So what I want to say is viewers is that by me receive connecting to that message, the war must end. I received from that message. I received the word of God through his vessel, Apostle JPM Denian. And by the grace of God upon this ministry, I am a changed man. I am debt free as I'm sitting in front of you today because of the whole must end message my name i removed from the credit bureau negative listings and i can now buy my wife this dream house if it wasn't for this ministry i don't know what would have been what would have happened where i would have sat today but because of the ministry i'm debt free i also used to smoke drugs for eight years and cigarettes for more than 17 years but the moment when i came in contact with this ministry when i heard about this ministry the miracles that god is doing to apostle Zay people like the lion i decided to come and check it out myself and today as you can see only a month ago i was appearing on a newspaper and today i'm an appearing on all tv channels <music>